A vast sea of Japanese cedar and full natural broadleaf forest have made Dongyuanshan National Forest Recreation Area Northern Taiwan's best-known forest ground. The complete system of trails allows visitors to share a feeling of oneness with the small animals quietly hidden among the myriad trees. Hey! You found me! I'm the Huamei Fairy, enjoying life in the place I call home. Living amid the famous scenery of Dongyanshan, of course you should bask in the energizing forest phytons. And don't forget to take every opportunity to appreciate the grand, beautiful vistas. Okay now, don't be jealous. Let's go enjoy the beauty of Dongyanshan. The sun rises. Looking out from Amuping and Shimon Reservoir, Dongyuanshan resembles a huge eye. Dutifully, it watches over the tail end of the Shuishan mountain range, over the rich variety of flora and fauna, over the entire area's lush greenery and vigorous life. Located in Shaoyun Village, Fuxing Township, Taoyuan County, the recreation area ranges in elevation from 650 to 1,212 meters. Bordering Taipei County's Sansha Township, the area is national forest managed by the Xinchu Forestry Area Administration. Currently, there is no direct transportation service for visitors. Those driving themselves can start from Dashi in Taoyuan, follow Beihang Provincial Highway No. 7, passing Fuxing Township en route to Dongyuanshan, the trip should take a little over an hour. When you arrive at the recreation area entrance, stately Taiwan incense cedar lines the way, striking a commanding pose in honor of your visit. Dongyuanshan National Forest Recreation Area was the nation's first such area to receive ISO 9001 recognition. There is a parking lot reserved for tour buses, several parking lots for cars, a visitor center, restaurant, administration center, trace fossil zone, and many forest trails. Of the latter, the self-guided trail, scenic trail, forest education trail, Dongyuanshan forest trail, and Donglan hiking trail are all distinctive in their own right. Let's go! First, it's off to the visitor center next to the parking lot to get some information. Take a brochure and watch an introductory video. These will be very helpful prior to your hike. The colorful eco-education and exhibition room restaurant, multimedia room, and variety-packed DIY teaching room are all included among the center's friendly services. <laughs> Ready? Okay, let's go! First, let's take the self-guided trail, looking at the pictures as we go. This circuit trail totals 4,134 meters and includes branch trails. Explanatory signposts have been set up along the route, so let's have a look. Check this out. The highest point along the self-guided trail is 1,212 meters above sea level. It's great for bird's eye views. It's also rather long and steep, so wearing high heels isn't recommended. That would be dangerous. Better change into some hiking boots or lightweight sneakers.
When you take the self-guided trail, relax your body and mind. Let the Taiwan red cypress, Taiwan incense cedar, and orderly Japanese cedar accompany you during your walk. Look at the trees as they gradually change from Japanese cedar to natural broadleaf forest. Observe the ferns beneath the trees, shell ginger, and short-stemmed ardesia. All around you is fresh verdant forest. On the Crestline Trail, you can see the scaly bark of the shuttlecock oak. Longleaf. Though similar in appearance to the common spice anise, this rosy anise is poisonous, so don't eat it. If you come during the spring, you can see the beautiful red and white blossoms of Formosan rhododendron hanging overhead. To the left and right of the restaurant are the Scenic Trail and Forest Education Trail. Both are level and easy to walk on, making them suitable for all ages. They're ideal for families, but also for those interested in bird, cicada, and frog watching. Still, you should be careful, because where frogs are plentiful, there tend to be snakes. Indeed, there is snake activity in the wooded areas on either side of the trail. From a natural perspective, snakes are an important link in the ecosystem. We should thus respect them and try not to disturb them. So, we visitors need to remember to keep to the trails. Don't take shortcuts or make your own paths. We should have fun, but we should also be careful. Don't let a careless action ruin your fun trip or threaten the lives of the animals and plants. Connecting the restaurant to the visitor center is the scenic trail, about 340 meters in length. Distributed along the trail are a number of tables and chairs. There is also a small bridge and flowing water, offering more nice places to relax. The wave-like pattern adorning the rock face next to the small bridge is a rare geological attraction. The Forest Education Trail explores the Japanese cedar forest next to the restaurant. Giant alocasia, also known as lover's umbrella, is everywhere to be seen, both in the natural and Japanese cedar forests. Acanthophypium silhatens, vessel fern, and primary broadleaf trees interspersed throughout the Japanese cedar forest, like Aeliocarpus decipiens and thick-fruited slonia, are all treasures awaiting your discovery. In spring, the clear, sweet call of the Huame echoes in the mountain valleys. In summer, there is the buzzing of cicadas. In autumn, the sound of insects is but faintly heard. And by winter, only the wind and river roam the forest, which silently greets the winter snows.
What's that? Stinkhorn mushroom. It's a kind of mushroom. Although these plants tend to be small, falling leaves and rotten wood depend on them in order to disintegrate. Organic matter is thus returned to the soil, becoming nutrients that sustain plant growth. Once the plants become strong, blossom, and bear fruit, they attract insects, birds, and other animals in search of food. In the dead tree trunks, we can sometimes find the larvae of termites, stag beetles, and sugarcane wireworm, boring into and eating the rotten wood. This is the nature's way, a never-ending cycle of life. During the Japanese occupation, due to demand for timber, Dongyuan Shan experienced a period of concentrated logging. On the Forest Education Trail, the Forestry Area Administration has displayed some of the facilities used to transport timber. The flat car, wooden horses, ropeway, and runway on display remind us of the toil that tree cutters once endured. The afforestation memorial stone towering beside the Dongyuan Shan Forest Trail tells yet another tale from the past. In the early days following restoration, transportation wasn't convenient. The tree seedlings needed for large-scale reforestation of Dongyuan Shan had to be transported on foot. The trip from Dashi Nursery past Samin Village across mountains to Dongyuan Shan lasted two days. The care taken to water and tend the seedlings during this journey made it possible for us to enjoy the beautiful full forest that currently exists. It's just like the saying that goes, ancestors plant the trees, descendants enjoy the shade. The Afforestation Memorial Stone reminds us to be grateful for the efforts of our predecessors and to cherish this lush swath of emerald forest. Next. Let's introduce Dongyan Shan Forest Road. This road doesn't benefit from the same shady cover as the rest of the forest ground. On sunny summer days, we recommend you wear a hat for protection. During summer, bright red Chinese bayberry on either side of the road will catch your eye. In autumn, Taiwan Cotton Rose shows its pleasant, light pink face. In winter, the Taiwan Cherry's blossoms often appear before spring, beautiful bodies of red to reward those in search of heavenly scents and serenity. This is Dong Yin Shan's most beautiful season. Once the winter snow has melted and spring arrives, new blossoms and leaves appear on the mountain litsia, which decorates the spring landscape in yellow and white. Insects and bees also begin the work of finding and extracting nectar, of which Chinese bayberry nectar is their favorite. When summer returns, its brilliant red fruit will once again catch your eye.
Located two kilometers down the Dongyuan Shan Forest Road is the fossil area. If you look carefully, you'll discover some very special marks on these rocks. According to expert analysis, these marks were possibly created 30 million years ago by marine crustaceans in the process of building their nests. They were preserved in sedimentary rock. This was later thrust upward as the mountain was formed, which is why the trace fossils appear before us today. These trace fossils also reflect the creature's behavior, as well as the environment they lived in, a rare opportunity. Thus, as you stop to admire them, don't touch them. Let these precious fossils remain completely preserved. The section of road from the fossil area to the afforestation memorial stone is also known as the corridor of geology. Here, one can see onion skin constructions, tuberculosis, and other unique geological formations. Here, one often sees the crested serpent eagle soaring in the sky, peering down at Bei Cha Tian Shan and the clouds below. At the end of the trail, looking to the upper left, two peaks, one large, one small, are seen standing together like a mother with her child. The site brims with familial sentiment, hence the name Qinzi Peaks. Leisure adds color to life. Natural splendor is worth exploring. Nature has the power to sweep away the toil of our everyday lives. With an endless variety of life that can be appreciated on numerous levels, Dongyuan Shan National Forest Recreation Area is not another mainstream ecotour. It is a rare natural resource that meets today's requirements of biodiversity and in-depth ecotourism. Forests are home to wildlife. Once forests are destroyed, we have nowhere to go. So please, keep the environment clean and leave the next generation with a complete natural classroom. Remember, it's about an hour's drive from Dashi Taoyuan to Dongyan Shan. The recreation area's self-guided trail is about 4 kilometers. The scenic trail is about 340 meters. The forest education trail about 1 kilometer. And the Dongyan Shan exercise trail about 2 kilometers. We suggest you choose trails you like and take into consideration your available time and level of fitness. So come for a relaxing, enjoyable visit to Dongyanshan Forest Recreation Area.